Today is day number 33. Watermelon only. Watermelon only. I have not eaten anything else in 33 days. I do believe it's day number 33. Um, I believe it is. I'm, I'm kind of... I have to confirm that it might be 34. I know it's not 32. I should have confirmed that before I came on here. I just started thinking about it though. Something made me think about that. But uh, anyway, we just gonna go with 33. And if it's not 33, then if it's 34, then I'll correct it. I don't know. At some point. Or whatever but uh what i'm doing today is i'm about to there's a bug crawling on my watermelon come on now come on I'm trying to uh trying to help you out of here did i get it i got it okay i'm just going Put him down there so uh i could do this i wanted to take him outside but anyway i'm about to juice this because it's very soggy it's all soggy mm. Mm. and although it's very it's still very 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 delicious I just don't like the texture. Like you see that? Let me show. You. See how it's stringy? It's super sweet though. It's really good. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and juice this while I do this video. And then I'm gonna cut open. I'm gonna cut another one. But uh, so day 33 and I'm in several groups on Facebook, you know, several fruit groups, like fruitarian groups and uh, fruit up with Bobby Smith. Check that group out. It is the best group that I've ever been a part of. And the people in that group, they not playing no games. Like they're really committed to better health, a better lifestyle, eating better, and just having a better relationship with food. So of all my groups, that's my favorite one. Um, and some of the other groups, it'd be a lot of people in there talking shit about what I'm doing and they I, I've seen like hold on let me get my life together several several people in there said you can't do this like what I'm doing right they've said that Eating only watermelon for more than a week is dangerous. It's unhealthy. It's unsafe. It's toxic. It's stupid. I think somebody even said arrogant. But I had like multiple people say that. And I'm like, really? After a week? Really? And this is after me posting my update of, I believe, 32 days or I think it was 30, my 32 day update because I've been leaving updates every day. When I first started on this journey, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that on day one, day two, day three, one week, two weeks. But 
I think around day 20, definitely day 20. I believe day 20 was the first day I made a video. But in the fruit up in a fruit up group with Bobby Smith, I I do believe, yeah, I've been keeping track from I want to say from day one. I've been keeping track. So uh well not keeping track but posting. Just posting in that group since day one. The other groups, I'm just starting to post in in those groups too. But um, yeah. Like how? Like how stupid is that? It's dangerous and unsafe and all this shit. After one week, I got over four weeks in. Like I'm coming up on five weeks in two days. No, technically, technically, I do have five weeks in. I have 33 days, if I'm right about today, 33 days as of today of eating nothing but watermelon. And I have three more days of eating nothing but watermelon prior to this. And there's only one day in between where I ate strawberries and blueberries. So, it's like, what are they talking about? <laughs> but you know what, though? I'm going to tell you this. I don't know why, but it felt really good to have so many people hate on me and be angry. People have literally been angry with me for doing this and for posting about it. Like one of these groups I was in, there were like three people, at least three people, right? Going through the comments and people were asking me questions about my journey. And these people, these three people were answering the questions, like just jumping in, like, don't do that. It's unsafe is dangerous it's stupid it's not safe for more than a week one person said you are my hero <laughs> right and somebody jumped in like he's not a hero heroes aren't stupid what he's doing is stupid and unsafe and toxic and blah 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 like they were like in the comments you know uh i mentioned something about my youtube channel and somebody asked, uh, what's your channel? And somebody, one of these three people hopped in the channel of death. So they were in the comments responding to everybody that was asking me questions or, you know, like just giving me props and for, you know, uh, encouraging me and congratulating me. And they will say some negative, toxic ass shit. <laughs> like they were really busy. I've never experienced nothing like that in my life. And this is simply because I, me, I'm choosing to eat nothing but watermelon. Oh my God, I wish you could taste this. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. How does something this good come out the ground? This is a fucking miracle right here. This is a fucking miracle. 
But uh, I'm like all of this because I'm eating watermelon. And I'm sharing with others about my personal experience. You know what that tells me? That tells me there's something really powerful about what I'm doing. That's what that tells me. Because all this effort from people, and it's not a lot, like most, it's very few. Like there's far more people that encourage me and congratulate me um, than the very, very few, you know, that troll my posts, right? So I don't want to get the impression that, you know, like, it's me against the world or nothing like that. I really, it's me against nobody, you know. It's just these three people. And, I mean, they don't even understand it or realize how much they've inspired me to keep going even longer. Like, they have really inspired me. I read every single one of their negative-ass, toxic-ass comments. Like, I could feel their energy. It was just so dark and hateful and miserable. These are some extremely unhappy people. And, you know, I kind of like, I really feel honored that they committed so much time to me, to talking about me and my posts and to going through all the comments and responding to people before me, like everybody, they responded to everybody. Like I feel honored about that. It's encouraged me, it's inspired me, it's added fuel to the fire. Like it's like the fire was already burning and then these three just came along and just poured gas on it, thinking they were pouring water on it. Now, you see how stupid people are? You think you're putting out the fire. All you're doing is igniting it. You're just making it bigger. You know, so I'm really happy to have had that experience. It was a really dope experience. And I hope to have it again. I hope they come back. I hope they weren't put out the group. I was thinking about making a post saying, just please don't put them out the group. Please don't block their comments. Don't block nothing they say. Let them speak freely. This is so good. You know, so, uh, but yeah, that's been happening. That didn't happen today. That happened yesterday on my day 32, unless today is day 34. And then that happened on day 33. I got to figure that out. You know what? Give me a second. Oh shit. I was going to check on here, but wait a minute. Oh, okay. I just, you know, I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. It won't take me long to find this out at all. It shouldn't take me long to find this out. So there's quite a few posts I got to go through. And I'm surprised that I'm not seeing any of my posts yet. Like, what the fuck? Maybe I'll search my name. Let 
Let me try that. Because I am a moderator. Like I've been named a moderator in this group. So, okay, I'm on day 33. I'm on day 33. Because my last post, I don't know if you can see that. My last post was day 32. So yeah, I'm on track. I'm on track. This is so good. Wow. So yeah, day 33, I'm feeling great. Um, I need to, uh, but yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I was, uh, I was feeling, I don't know, like hungry earlier. I really didn't eat much today. You know, uh, that watermelon I was just showing y'all, the soggy watermelon, I ate on that a little bit, but there wasn't, I was really only, you know, just fishing through it and eating, you know, like any of the crunchy parts I could find, which wasn't much at all. And then I went to work. I had to work early and, and, um, had to pick my mom up after that. And so I really haven't eaten, excuse me. I mean, I've eaten very little today. And so, you know, I was feeling not really tired, Maybe a little bit. I mean, I could have I could have went to sleep, you know, if, if I didn't have to, if I wasn't moving around, if I would have just sat still, I could have went to sleep. Uh, and I felt I didn't feel hungry, though. I'm, I'm not sure what I was feeling in my stomach. It. It wasn't hunger. Now, back in the day, I would have said I was hungry, but I know better now. And I know I wasn't hungry. Maybe I was hungry. I don't know, whatever. But <laughs> I mean, it's minor anyway. I mean, I feel great. I feel even greater after having this. Because this is amazing. This is beyond amazing. It's just absolutely incredible how good this tastes. Like, it's so good. I'm already went into the mode of trying to save it. This came out the ground. <laughs> this came out the ground. But yeah, so that's all. I think that's all for day 33. Um, the journey's been going great. I feel really strong and empowered. I feel better than ever. Uh, I mean, I'm still working out. Yesterday was leg day for me and I went hard. Uh, I pressed more weight than I ever have, right? Like I'm getting stronger. Um, I'm still working out about five times a day. Uh, I mean, <laughs> not five times a day, <laughs> five times a week. I'm still working out like about five times a week. Um, everything's great. Everything's lovely. And uh, I'm about to uh, wrap that up. So if you're following my journey, stay tuned for day 34. 34 consecutive days. Day 34 of... Me eating nothing but watermelon. 